Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're playing some more randomized roguelands. That's ultra randomized to you. And that's gonna be randomized skills, randomized gear. We're gonna run around and see what we can pick up. The the combinations are endless. So basically what I'm my my mental model for victory has been look for weapons with extremely high base damage and or projectile count. And if you can't get the projectile count, look for fire rate. So right now, the one I'm holding in my hand has 1.6 million damage, but its fire rate's only 0.3 shots per second. So I'm going to be firing a shot every what? Like, over three seconds? That's crazy. M meanwhile, this buffalo has way less damage, but it's times five of the 3.4 fire rate. It's going to do so much more damage. Anyways, so this first set of gear right here is not randomized. This is from the Roguelands mod, but I will be taking... At least some of it, because honestly, I, I like randomized guns. Not the biggest fan of randomized grenades and stuff like that. I think the grenades is a little bit too tough to understand what's going on with them, most of the time, at least for me. That being said, I think I would like something that maybe brings them in. I get the singularity, it, it always lies about what it does. It's rubberized. It's not singularity. It's going to kill me. I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our skill trees for the first time here. We have boar in the middle skill tree. I think we make our way towards that. It's an easy, easy get. Critical hit damage, melee damage, or do we want to take follow through? Let's take, f let's take five and follow through. It's going to give us that movement speed. What is it? It's... Movement speed and gun damage after kill. That's a whole bunch of both. 40% movement speed, 30% gun damage. That's crazy. We still don't have like a weapon of the future or anything like that. I could try this blader rifle. Don't think it'll be that good. Then again, I haven't shot any of it. Let's get out there. Peter Patter, let's get at her. Frostburn Canyon first round. Hopefully it's not that difficult one. No, it's not. I shot this launcher out. Uh, it does launch for things, I guess. Alright, that's alright for me. Okay, this... This might not have any juice at all. This is all rifle. We're gonna give it another chance here. But, unless it starts getting some juice, we might have put it in the bank. Okay, juice cannon has arrived. This has got 91,000 damage. Or, not 110,000 damage. We roll. It has the thunderstorm property, so like it, or the Morningstar property. So it is spawning like, it's like shock balls to go along with the fire damage. It is, it is kind of cool. I'll get on a cool rating. I'll give it a pretty high score. Effective, how effective is it? I'm not too sure. But it seems to be doing okay against these mobs. Okay, okay, we have a weapon. Congratulations, we have a weapon. Okay, we have a basic boom. This one does the most damage I've ever seen. No, not quite. Almost, though. Its magazine size is negative two. Is it even possible? No, it can't shoot. That is so ridiculous. Give me, give me a gun with a negative mag size. Oh, man. That makes me so upset. Okay, this SMG has got a 13 fire rate. Ooh, and I can, I can juice it with some slag damage. I can juice the other one with some shock damage. Grants immunity to corrode damage. Let's take it. It grants immunity to corrode damage. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I don't know what to say. That's why that's why I'm against random shields, because there's just no way to know. I don't have like a degree in game development. So there's just no way for me to know. I'm just a regular guy. Trying to figure out what these what these numbers in these cards mean. Oh my gosh! Speaking of what the numbers in these cards mean, it one tapped. Oh, I missed. It's got like a little fire teeth of Terramorphus going on with this thing. It does. Very interesting. Very interesting. It's very quite high damage. I looked at the card. It says 1.6 mil. Not the highest I've ever seen, but it's definitely high. Higher fire rate ma matters to me, personally. Alright. Shield capacity and shield recharge rate is actually not so bad.
I would, I would, however, like to have something decent. Uh, sorry for wise. Okay, let's go Bora. It's going to give us one point in Raven Retribution. We'll get us all the way down the skill tree if we want. This is going to be a quick skill tree. We're going to be able to get down this, this skill tree quite fast. Just one more point. We'll unlock one shot, one kill. Yeah, it's craziness. This red side skill tree is kind of nuts. Sustenance, life tap, able. I've never seen anything. I actually haven't seen anything quite like it. Do we have any more healing? Grit. Yeah, this, this skill tree is one of the tankiest skill trees I've ever seen. Ever. Cooking up trouble, like every single heal skill in the game. I could, I could get, back, get behind that, to be honest with you. Let's do one point enable, two points insight. I think that makes sense to me. We roll. Honestly, as far as mobbing rounds one go, that that, that wasn't a mobbing rounds one go. That wasn't so bad. We escaped that without too much problem. We're gonna chuck take a grenade, see what it does. We have to start. We have to start trying having grenade tryouts. For who's gonna make it to that guy's subway surfing? What in the world? Okay, I, I didn't like what that grenade was doing, even though I checked another one. How about just a homing shock transfusion? That this this is why I brought it along. It just does what it says it does. It knows its role, its role is to heal me. There we go. We got a little bit of heal juice coming in now. There, kid. And even will do it'll even strip shields and stuff if they have shields, or it'll get stuck in the wall trying to hit an enemy that it can never hit. They're up here, guys. Guys, they're up here. Death trap. You're you're, you're making my grenades miss, guy. Okay, here we go. Later. Oh my gosh, it's like a sniper shotgun. Did you grenade jump this? Honestly, probably could. Alright, let's roll this way. Just throw grenades at every enemy. I don't have a crosshair on aiming down sights. So it seems to be a problem with a lot of the guns, honestly. Later. Whoa, this guy's got like a... Okay, he's got a hive. I got. To, I have to go all full aggro here. I have to go full aggro. Yep, yep, yep. I understand. I understand the issue. You have a hive. Okay, thank god. Ooh. Barely escaped with my life there. Holy cow. Okay, let's see. Entered my inventory. I did it with a 269,000 damage. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to move the needle. It's the same way Paul George isn't going to move the needle for the... What was it? Philadelphia 76ers that picked up Paul George? That's like the... I... As far as like the most cr cringiest moves in the history of of basketball, it's gotta be one of them. What's he gonna go? What's he offering you? This has got 1.2 mil damage with a fire rate of 5.5. I think it might be worth trying out. This sniper is good. We know what it does for us. Oh, it's an Ahab though. I really do not like the way the Ahab shoots. I could try this red dog. Give me this red dog. That this actually could be really a, a very high damage pistol. What's that? Time six, three hundred k. That's no times nine, almost forty k. So four times nine is thirty six. It's gonna be coming in at about like three point four mil. Am I thinking about that correctly? I thought this was... Yeah, here we go. 4 times 9 is 3.6. So I'm thinking about 3.3k maybe. Holy cow, look at that, Florentine. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's it's a launcher, which means the ammo consumption isn't going to be the best. But let's take a shot with it, see what happens. Oh, it's the worst gun of all time. Crazy. A Sandhawk rocket launcher. 
Okay, I'm not really sure what I'm working with here. <laughs> not too sure what I'm working with here. We take some pictures of these, why not? Let's roll. Meanwhile, my Washington Wizards signed Jonas Valanciunas in free agency. It makes a lot of sense. He's a he's a seven foot, seven one on a good day. The guy's enormous. He can box out, he can rebound. This is gonna be a short rebuild, I'm telling you right now. Now this gun right here has a 17.7 .7 fire rate with about seven million damage on every shot. That's gonna be one of the most powerful guns I've ever seen in my entire life. It is Jacob's though, small magazine size. That's gonna keep it slightly balanced. Let's try this rocket dog right here. Oh, this thing could be what we're looking for right here, especially because I've got stripped of flesh for the explosive damage scaling. So yeah, this, re this wizard's rebuild probably not gonna take as long as you think it will. We already have two good c core defensive pieces. And Blau Kulabali and Alex are, so don't speak to me. I matters you don't understand. Okay, I'm not too sure how much this is helping me or hurting me using this thing. What if I just... Oh, dang. This is Joel's candy right next to me, too. I should be... I should be absolutely fine here. Yeah, we're so back. Let's take this Joel's candy. Let's use it. It's a tough round. We used to clear the round. Hey, we're clearing. Transfusion grenades, obviously OP. And with Joel's candy. But that's kind of the point, right? I think the candies are supposed to make you OP. Do I still have it? No, I lost the I lost the buff. I probably should have maybe spawned in some more enemies before just spamming my life out. But yeah, I probably should have walked up here. That's okay. But this Hyperion, I believe, is doing explosive damage, but I can't really tell. Yeah, it's definitely doing explosive damage. Ooh, I'm I was gonna go check out this plasma caster. Unfortunately, this 20 mag size actually just makes this gun really not that usable. Unfortunately, I don't know. Maybe I could make it go back to it. I want to try out this plasma caster though, just to see, just to see how it goes. Um, as far as points go, I think strip the flesh could make some sense. This guy's got a twister. He's got a twister grenade or a twister shotgun. Okay, it doesn't do that horribly against. Okay, okay, against shields. Okay, this this gun's small magazine size as well is a big reason why I probably won't be using it long term. Just no magazine size in it, anything right now, but the rockets are nice. Rockets are very nice, and they're basically one shotting whenever they touch. Yeah, it's, it's not bad damage at all. Anybody else? Yeah, gotcha. Later. And they have decent range. It's just the magazine size, what I'm worried about is all. Able coming into play right there, helping me out, saving my life. Don't shoot, the, don't shoot yet, brother. Shooting brains isn't isn't working. Here we go. I also wanted to try out this um, this pistol here too. I got plenty of stuff to try out. Let's try this. I got I got a slot I can swap things out for. At that much damage, it's probably not gonna do that much. Yeah, Russell Avenger. Sometimes these white weapons are the best ones in the game. Mm, not quite. So far, this gun, but this gun's got its, its certain limitations. All right, try just try everything here. Very yellow jacket esque. Is that the name of the gun too? Yeah, it is. Okay. Stalker me. Decent fire rate. This has got trespass from the name. I might go come back to it. I bet you that does. I'm, I'm not sure. It is called Hornet, but I'm not sure if it will do grenade damage scaling. Let's roll. 
so far I don't have that. I don't have that, you know, that that trust in me weapon, you know? It's like just 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 use me and I promise you I'm taking you to the promised land. Which is sad. But what I could do is this. Give me back my assault rifle that did 15 million, whatever it was. This one right here. Okay, and then I can put it on a assault rifle magazine size. Hello. That can solve that problem. That's got to be accurate now. Come on now. I can do that. Let's go. I'm not applying very much slag is another problem I'm having. Okay, I don't have a scorn or anything to slag this guy. Ooh, a little bit of boar action. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what I was boring, but... Gimme, gimme, you know what I'm saying? Almost stuck. Come on, homie. Landing shots. Landing shots like this guy's important. I, I want to give this Vladimir a try, just, just to say I did. There we go. Ooh, well-kept Florentine. This... Unfortunately, this... this I'm, I've given this weapon enough tries. I think it's time for it to hit the hit the can. This gun seems fun to shoot. I'm gonna put on. I don't want smaller mag size is my problem. Yeah, smaller mag size is just a straight up nerf to me right now. Okay, this weapon seems fine. I'm gonna try... Let's replace my launcher. It's not doing that much damage anyway. Decent. It's a times 12. I might do a lot of damage. Yeah, I actually might do a ton of damage. I think this shotgun can probably get replaced. Is it times 20 though? Oof. Lots of damage on these guns, but I can only take so many with me. I can only try out so many at a time. So I'm just going to go for a whole bunch of healing right now. Just give me a whole bunch of healing and, ho and just hope that it's enough. I'd say. If I had to say, which I do. I'm going to... Uh, finally, I am going to equip slag. Let's, let's trust in the weapons that got us here. This says that it does slag. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and trust this shotgun when it tells me it does slag, that it does do slag. Okay, well, it's, it actually just one shot the boss. So, I'm not too sure what more has to be said about it. Holy cow. What kind of damage is it doing? Can't even tell. Everything just gets one shot. What in the world's going on? This well-kept Florentine? Are you kidding me? It goes crazy. I I need to get a, I need to get a, a class mod that doesn't negatively affect it. Sure, anything that, anything that doesn't negatively affect it. Let's go inside. I wanna I wanna juice this thing as much as I can. Let's go. That was. That was a little bit of a one shot. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. I don't want to take that candy. I'm nervous. I, I will. If I if I end up getting something like a grog, I probably would take it. No, nope. no grog, no nothing there. All right, that's fine. Let's roll. Do I try to cheese? I'm not gonna try to cheese. I'm gonna try to cheese. Come on. Cheese the boss. Cheese the boss. Hit F2, spam F2, spam F2, spam F2. Come on. Give me Hyperius. Hyperius? Oh, of course it's Terramorphous. I can't cheese it. Dang it. I still have extra projectiles. Look at those projectiles coming out. 
But because Terramorphus takes so long to spawn in, I won't, I won't end up getting it. I don't think I don't think I can even damage him when he's down there. So it's not it's not even my fault. Whoa, what is this? Did you see that? It was like care stat, care stat, whatever that means. Okay, so I just basically wasted a ton of Iridium trying to do this strat. If, if I had gotten Pyro Pete or Hyperius, I think it would have gone fine. I believe anyway. Okay, we're going to one-shot this guy. We're doing shock damage. Good to know. This one seems like it's just way, way better. It's kind of crazy, actually. Where is it at? It's got weird text because of the... Well, I, don't, I don't trust any of them now. No way. I swear, do we, we're doing shock damage. We're doing a lot of shock damage. Yeah. And he's mad. And he's mad about it. That's the craziest part. I, want to, I do want to give this Vlad off at least one chance to show me it, it can do something. So I've only used that against like one enemy this entire time. And it's going to go away between rounds. So let's collect up our Iridium. And let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as we as we enter tier two here, our weapons are going to be getting. Um, I don't want to say deleted. But they, we're not, the weapons that we have currently are not going to be functioning the same. Once we hit, because once we enter tier two, we actually go back to the main menu and the game gets rescaled with the enemies having higher levels. And even if you have the Sanity Saver mod on, which will help you keep your guns that are, that are like impossible to happen in the game, like they completely get randomized. One, a lot of them lose their textures, as you can see right here, they lose their textures. And two, they roll with much different stats. So this one that was a Florentine is now just a well-kept nothing. So it's useful to go back in to all of your guns and see if you can find something that looks somewhat decent. Like this 10 million damage launcher could be good. I don't want to fire it right now. I could kill myself. 1 million times 7 damage sniper rifle. It's probably going to shoot like the Terramorphus though. I still think this gun has potential. It's got a fast fire rate. This rocket gun also has potential as well. It's got new. It's got a brand new mag size. Okay. This buffalo still is decent too. If we run into some armored enemies, why don't I just equip it? There we go. Let's rock. Let's rock today. Uh, we can go. I would like a, a more versatile class mod. Personally. And I've got shock damage on, which. Might not be the absolute best. A slag shotgun. That's going to be some pretty high damage on that puppy. Max high is only one, though. No, thanks. This one says it's a Jacob's Peak opener. It's magazine is 25. It's it is it is high damage. Let's try it out. And we have an infinity. Yeah, let's try out this fire shotgun. Let's try out this fire shotgun. See how it goes. It looks like it's fire. Can't look at new guns right now. I gotta focus on the ones I've got. Yeah, definitely a fire shotgun. Yes, sir, Bob. We got Tubby to fire into. Oh, plus if we hit Hyperus, we're gonna have Boar too. Holy, nice. It's pretty good damage, I would say. Later, kid. Melee him down. Melee, me and you, Death Trap. Let's go. Hmm. Strange how I didn't explode his uh, gas tank there. Oh, out of blammo. Let's try this bad puppy. Not bad. That's not bad damage. 
I have to be a little bit accurate, and I don't like how slow the bolt travels, and I wish it was a one-shot, but... If this, if this operates like an actual bee, we could be in business here. Please tell me it does. No, it doesn't. It drains my shield. It is the ultimate betrayal from the bee shield to do that to me. After how much respect I put on it, I never once don't take it when it pops up. Except for like maybe once or twice. But I always respect it and it's just going to do that to me. It's crazy. Okay, I think I want to go for more heal juice. Heal juice could be the way. Grit makes sense, but so does one shot, uh, one kill. Helps every kind of weapon. All right, let's roll the next stage and pick up this uh, Pyrex candy. Hey, hey, ho, ho, to the highlands we go. Robot mode, let's go. Oh, do I have anything I want to try real quick? The fire shotgun, not so much. The shake-up sniper, let's try it out. It's got fire to the Terramorphous properties, and I'm so gone. I'm so dead. It's so over. No, no, but we're so back. It's fine, it's fine. Later, kid. Do you want a slice, too? And I backed up just in time. Let's reload it. Okay, so for armored up enemies. Enemies with armor. I want to try that slaggy... Oh, that uh, corrosive. Oh, sorry. For the, this buffalo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. It's not bad damage. It's not bad damage. Max size leaves a little bit to be desired. But I can improve that with a class mod. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Another Florentine. I want to try it. Ah, dang it. I couldn't put it in the right slot. Let's try this one out. Stop hitting me with whatever that is. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this sorry fall. I know I know it will work. I also know I'm gonna have to reload it maybe once. Come on, get me there, get me there, get me there. Live, live, live. Oh, we're so back. It's I'm mean, it's just insane. Stop stop trying to drain my shields. And by try I mean succeed. Jerk. Okay, did get destroyed. Max health plus 54%. I think you could convince me that that makes some, some sense. This thing does not have much damage against this shield. Come on. Another pass. We get him. Nice. Man, these enemies over here in the sun. Oh, I got a skyrocket apparently going on. Aim for the sergeant loader because you can easily kill the ESP loader by just simply backing up. And my grenade right now is not what I want it to be at all. I want the homing shock transfusion. Thank you. Much appreciated. Very nice. That hive could come in handy. Oh. Juke City, population U. Wow. There's somebody over there with something very, very powerful. I can't chuck nades. It's going to come down to my launcher. Holy, it actually did it. And we win the round. That was insane. Insanity. But we're surviving tier 2, and that's more than I could have ever dreamt for for this run. An Ahab. Hopefully it doesn't shoot like the Ahab. I will give it a chance, but I don't want to give it much of a chance. I think it will betray me. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that'll betray me. We know that's not going to go well. I want my... I would say, I want to try the shock hive. Mm. 
Let's try... This Commerce, maybe? It's, ugh, it, it's the Jacob's one. That, it makes me sick. <laughs> it just be, it should just be so much better than it is, but it's not. It just refuses to be good. It's just that's what's making me so upset about it. Dude, either way, let's take our next five. Um, which skill tree? Which skill tree? Which skill tree? Let's go down this one here. I think we maybe do want to go for the reload speed. Expertise can be can be good actually, because being able to aim down sight while moving quickly is actually important. And so is weapon swap speed. Okay. Not an easy zone. I think I think this thing can still rip. We're gonna we're gonna give this Vlad off pistol a chance. Oh, how could you do this to me? We're still back though. It's gonna be chaos. Okay. Oh my gosh, that guy's gun was insane. It, I do have a jolt candy I can use, but I would love to save it for next round. If I could afford myself that luxury. Oh, I'm so back. Stop it. Stop it. Please tell me there's some grenades in here. There are. Spam grenades. Spam grenades. Spam grenades. Who's doing all the big? Who's doing the big booms, huh? Okay, I like I like where we're heading. It's just that right here, it's basically impossible to pick a good skill. Let's just take backdraft, foresight for a little bit of magazine size and reload speed. Okay, let's just let's just kick it right on right on out. I think this pistol should be good enough. Oh, I didn't pick up the 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 jolt candy. Who needs it anyways? The boss doesn't spawn for a while anyway, no matter what you do. Unless I'm crazy, all you have to do is run over there. Tell you what, if I get if I get a candy to spawn, I will go check it out right away. If not, whoa, someone's firing at Mach 17 over here. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, you shouldn't have stopped firing, homie. And I shouldn't have stopped firing either, I guess. Blast him. Oh my gosh, this launcher is actually doing his job, which is crazy. I haven't had a launcher do his job in the randomized rogue ones yet. Okay. I think like, this is a, this is a job for some transfusions. Yeah, this is a job for some transfusions. <laughs> Run! Oh, later, kid. And they dropped some grenades for me, please. Thank you. All right, Oni. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean by not scared? <laughs> oh, what do we got right here? Oh, that's some nice damage, though. Don't let these, don't let these uh, lunatic bombers get to me. They'll all get to you, bud. They're trying to put you down. I think this gun should get the job done. I'm out of ammo in it, which is devastating news to hear. How about a little bit of death trap, though? Ooh, that could be a little bit of juice that we need. A little bit of sauce for the weather. This is not a bad Oni kill. Pretty, honestly, not the absolute fastest I've ever seen, but it's not the slowest either. I just have to reload a lot, that's all. Okay, we rock. Don't worry, 1.0.9 update. We don't take damage from that. Sorry, Oni. You, you lost 90% of what made you terrifying. It's not your fault, but it's what happened. 
Okay, this is a lead storm. It should fire like a lead storm. And did that that should do some good deeps. That should definitely do some deeps. Weapon accuracy and reload speed. That's what I'm looking for. Something a little bit more versatile. There we go. That works in every weapon class. More reload speed. Let's take, let's take some unstoppable force. We're going to be quick. We're going to heal a lot. We're going to have big shields. We're going to have a high damage. For like, what don't you have? I would say what we don't have is just that unstoppable main character weapon. This this lead storm wants wants to try out for that position right now. That's what's that's what it's doing. That's what it's, it's here for. I will say that it's. I mean, these are you know smaller enemies, but I'm not even seeing their health bars go down. That's how fast they're dying. It also might be because I have to aim low because it's a lead storm. <laughs> Let's use this shield instead. It's much larger and it grants immunity to electrocute damage, which is kind of nice. This is the first time I've ever seen the flame of the firehawk in roguelands i don't think it works the way it does but they should add the flame of the firehawk to standard roguelands just saying by the way i don't trust this transfusion at all especially because that one doesn't have any projectile counts i'd rather just stick with the one that i know heals me so sue me sue me what can you do me on that one <laughs> that storm Oh, he's a good test. The Gallant Spider Ran. Oh my gosh, the boar. Holy. Oh, my ammo. This is what happens when you try to cheese raid bosses. You don't have any STUs for your ammo types. Speaking of cheese raid bosses, do we try? Do we try round two? I have a... I have a Mopey's Candy. No, I don't. But imagine if I did, though. Holy. Uh, let's take this... Take this Mopey's Candy. Run, 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 run. Excuse me. I have a date with Scorch. Thank you. Later, kid. I gonna say, if this doesn't... if With Mopey's Candy, if it doesn't watch out of Scorch, this gun's getting benched for all eternity and all time. That's... And that's considered a big boss round. Like, that that takes up a Saturn or even if you... If you will permit me, a Uranus fight. Because this chopper has one... Million damage per shot times four with a 13 fire rate with th oh, wait. I think once you start shooting it, it won't stop. So I gotta be careful. And I already fought Terramorphous. So the fire damage is probably not gonna come in handy. Let's not get ourselves down too too quick on it. Let's roll. Let's roll! I can actually get some SCUs here. SMG. So it's Grenage, obviously the max. SMG. Pistula. Pistula, SMG. Next, let's get ass assault rifles up. And we got no more iridium, so we just gotta we got we just gotta send it. Okay, then they give they give us the hardest boss in the game. Let's rock. I'm not afraid of it either. That's the craziest part. You would think like, oh my gosh, he's so afraid of it. Okay, maybe I am afraid. I have boar, but I don't... I don't have a decent way to slag. I just need to get a gun that slags. But I'm not really seeing the, the big juicy de deeps coming out. I can try this Lud Storm. Maybe if I got him slagged up, that could be a little bit better. The chopper is completely useless in this fight. Don't speak to me about it. The slag flacker might be good. Let's go for this gunnerang instead. It might probably be a little bit better at slagging. So he's not getting slagged at all. There we go. He's finally slagged. I juke this, right? right here i do oh my gosh it was better that's, cr that's the craziest part just better simply simply better that's not terrible no it's not terrible uh, i'm gonna call it right there not terrible so okay when you do when you break his shields he guaranteed does a nova i'm pretty sure because that nova timer was a short short i'm trying to get them, i'm trying to get him slagged up 
There we go. That's, that was not a bad slag time. I'm just wondering what his Nova timer is now, though. You know what I'm saying? I have to go for these guys. He's not slagged anymore. Staying on the opposite side of him, obviously. I think that's the big one. Hey, here it comes. Okay, nice. I'm hearing a lot of boar shots. That's what I like to hear. And now I'm getting some crits to rain in as well. Now it's just ringing around the rosy with this guy. How's my ammo doing? Low. Dang. That's not what I like to hear. This thing was doing a great job killing this guy. I might have to actually go for some some ammunition here. Oh, I'm gonna take a big dot. That's okay. I kind of wanted to, to saw some enemies up with something that isn't an SMG, anyways. All right, summon in some of these bad boys. Like this gun should be good enough. And if it's not, I'll to tell you. How about Pyrex candy? Pyrex candy me? Okay, everybody's down. They gave me back some some SMG ammo. Can't be mad about it. Okay, here comes the dot. Oh, I do take it. I don't take it. I'm better. Okay. Got some of my bullets back. Happy about that. out of blammo that's understandable with how much we're spamming i think i need a secondary option but what the shock hive could be dece let's put on shock damage as well and it doesn't it just doesn't do, it's not a hive at all i would have i would have loved it if it was okay slag them does it do anything, any damage at all? Probably not. We're stuck in the, the vortex of Nova's now. We're gonna have to start playing our way out. That trap get out here, hopefully. And what, we, what we're really looking for is a power-up, like a yellow one. Or a green one would be even better. So this shock hive was a fail. It failed me, never to return again. Mm. I'm just I'm looking at the numbers in these guns and I'm just not seeing anything besides this one assault rifle that can actually be good for us. The problem is it's just trash. Oh that that bore I'm not sure if that how much Oh there we go. Can we get we can get bore through his like his gas tank, but it doesn't even be doing that much. We're getting ready for his next Nova. Okay, hopefully we can get the slag off on him. This gun does so much damage. I wish I could just use it all on all the time. I cannot, unfortunately. Crits are helping. Okay, slag my bag, homie. Slag my bag. You keep my slag and I'll keep your bag. You don't want this work. Trust me. Oh, he doesn't want the work. Nice Nova, bro. I blocked that 20, 29,000 times out of 29,000. I still managed to take a fire Nova, though, somehow. Should go away. If it doesn't go away, this game is rigged. Yeah, it's rigged. Holy cow. I didn't realize it was so rigged, but it is. Would have thought it. In today's climate. In today's day and age. It's rigging the game against me. Crazy. It's actually just disgusting behavior. 
There's absolutely no damage out coming out of this bad puppy. How about a, how about a, a power up for me? I'm not taking that dot. It ain't happening. Oh, okay. I see a blue power up. Let's take that one. Give me that. 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 Now let's slag and bag and slag and bag. We're gonna run a blammo. Okay, power P does go down. We're we're heading the tier three. There we go. We're heading the tier three. Let's go. Never say never. Never say never. All that we need from this from this spot right here is our iridium. Everything else is going to get randomized into something completely different. Let's roll. And by completely different, I mean basically the same gun, just minus some of the extra parts. And sometimes that means projectile, sometimes that means change in base number of damages and all that kind of stuff, so. It is what a doobie is. Tier 3, I am ready for the... Let's get this job done. We're going to get a brand new slate of randomized weapons. Now, it's basically starting from scratch. So watch how, see how much worse this slide storm is now than it was before. Kind of crazy how, like, how the weapons can change so much. I do want to grab a gub in case... In case I need it for whatever reason. Um, the fire rate is always 4.3. No. This one's 4.9. And has higher damage. You know what? We actually took the bayoneted one. That's crazy. I would have thought I would have never taken the bayoneted one. Never in a million years. Right, that's a nice launcher. But mine officially has... Ooh. Mine has like... How much damage? 10 mil- 10.8 mil? I'll stick with this one. Okay. One more chest and then we roll on the tier 3. We are going to take a quick scan through our current weapons to see if there's anything that's, you know, catching our eye. Um, let's check out this peak opener. Does it spawn grenades? I'm not so sure. And let's... This last storm can get replaced. Let's look for something better here. See this boost slagger? That's probably pretty good. That's going to be my slag weapon of the future. This rocket dog could make a comeback. And so could this, this fire to the terramorphase. Like, these are... A lot of times the guns that were good and lost their, their good stats. Ooh, this is a grog nozzle. I don't think it'll kill me, but it might. A lot of times the guns that were good end up coming back. Let's try this shotgun supreme. If it consumes four ammo per shot, but I think it could be okay. Let's roll. I think I do have a slag damage. Relax, we'll slap that on. Let's roll. Tier 3, coming at ye. Oh, man. With the randomized guns, it, it definitely becomes just... Inc increasingly difficult to, to know what to use. I'm sure, like, obviously I've left, I've left, left like, the, my very best option probably somewhere behind me, but... You know what? You can only f fight one enemy at a time. This is not going to get it done. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to get it done. That's not going to get done either. I'm looking for something with a little bit more gusto. Something with a little bit more gusto, please. Maybe this launch will get this job done. Actually, not bad. It's not bad damage against the ultimate badass, but I need to get a kill on this small lad first. We don't panic. and Not, not in this house, we don't panic. The ultimate badass has like a, a hyper-accurate gun and I only have a couple kills into the round. When in doubt, launch route, homie. Fire damage me. Maybe this gun will work. You haven't tried it yet? Give it a shot. Give it a shot here. That's not bad damage. I'm pretty sure that'll do well against regular enemies. There we go. Yes. Just elemental match. That's all you gotta do. Elemental match. Get rid of that off. Hopefully that the shock transfusion will come in clutch here. We we can we can shotgun these clowns out of this guy if we had ammo. Which is something that we do not have much of. 
Okay, hop. Keep hopping, keep hopping here. Mm, I'm in trouble. That trap's almost back, though. Almost. All right. Staying alive, staying alive, transfusion me. Okay. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Chocolate geezy. Oof, I'm still looking for that. A gun that can tip, tip me over the edge here, but while I'm taking so much damage from so many enemies, it's hard to look around. I'm gonna get right up and personal with them. Oh, I gotta reload it? That's fine. We don't panic in these situations. We don't panic. We just make sure we land our shot. Okay, I need, personally, to check around for some guns. Anything. It's a slag pimper now. Hopefully that can change our fortunes in this war. It does have pimpernel properties. Thank God. Bone shredder? Probably not that great. But this, the slag pimper now might be good. Let's do a little bit of rising shot. I like rising shot as a skill. Hey, if it, this pimpernel maybe can get us there. I have slag damage on. It only consumes one ammo per shot. Ow. Is it Jacobs? No, it's Dahl. Okay, got it. I think I think it can I think it can get us there if we just if we just focus on hitting our shots. It's got the ammo. It's got the ammo efficiency that we need. It's, it should have the damage that we need, especially with boar, especially against dragons. Now we just gotta focus on not dying. We got a lot of kill skills, including shield regen, health regen, all that shenanigans. And I actually have a crosshair because I have an iron sight, which is super nice. But my zoom is a little bit, a little bit crazy. Like very zoomed in, very zoomed in. Either way, very happy with how that performed. Especially with that relic that actually helps it. Yeah, the zoom is just not much I can do about it. I don't even have. I didn't take any points in optics or anything like that. Alright, let's go like the winds. And then we will be able to go for Reaper, and then we also will be able to go for Grit. So hopefully we'll just be able to stay alive forever. And we can just laugh in our enemies' faces as we uh, as we go to the finish line, but... We have to be practical here. It's probably not going to be as easy as we as we hope. It's going to be it's gonna be difficult. Whoa, especially with enemies shooting... Very interesting weapons over there. Don't hit me. Thank you. First three enemies are gone. Alright, flying enemies. And luckily, I slag everything because I have a slag pimper now, which is nice. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Yes. Yes. Look at it go. The pacifying pimper now. We like that. Later, kid. Enemies can have random weapons, so we gotta be really careful. Use cover at all times. This is this. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's a wrap. I'm not gonna say it's a wrap. Anything could happen. But we're getting there. Yep. But I think we're getting there. This. This Pimpernel was was the weapon I think that we needed. Look at the damage on that bad puppy. That's not even factoring in any boar shots. And dragons, you're getting boar all the time. You're just, you're just constantly boring them for no reason. Like they have like 14 character models, like the wings and stuff like that count. Okay. The most important thing that I want right now. Ooh, that gun damage might be nice. Most important thing that I want right now is a little bit of accelerate, not what we need. Let's do grit, and then if I get more points, I'll go Reaper. We're cruising through tier three like it's not even there. 
Like it's not even there. All right, Death Trap, get out of here, homie. Golden Golem. V me and Death Trap. There we go. That's a tier three final boss, by the way. Just instantly evaporated. Just by the way, only thing I'm looking for here is like something that I know would be good, like a B shield or something. No. Okay. That's fine. See if I care. See if I care. With well, that baby maker could be good. Something to bring down the dragons that I know is consistent. Is this consistent? That'll be consistent too. Okay, class mods. I'm gonna check these out. Reload speed and fire rate. I don't think you could ask for a much better class mod than that right there. Critical hit damage and fire rate. Well, that might be even better. Magazine size and fire rate. The critical hit damage is nice too. Let's roll. Ooh. To be honest with you, we don't need the, the, the magazine size, I would say. We already have a really big magazine size. Why don't we just take the, the crit damage? That makes sense to me. Make sure our SUs are in order. Just max out everything. That's just who we are nowadays. I mean, we just max it out all at all. And now... We didn't get our last five points for Reaper. We could go for a respec. But I feel pretty comfortable with this is probably the best we're going to get as far as skills. Let's go. Reaper is probably important, but I am... I think I have enough gun damage skills. And I won't need it. And Death Trap is going to be out here too, helping me out, so. All we can do is hope. Alright, slot number two is, is the one here. Okay, you guys use you guys use your abilities on my Death Trap. Please don't hit me like that. I think I took the aggro. Look at them, they're all over me now. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Okay. Is Brood coming down? He is. Thank you. Once you actually get the, once you actually get the shots off, it goes kind of crazy. All right, Death Trap, do not bring anybody down. Do not bring anybody down. Bring Blue. Blue is the one we want. Thank you. Hear that boar going off? It's crazy, right? I think that trap for everything he's done for me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Next, we want red, actually. Red, please come down here. There we go. This purple, he's going to resist my pimper now, so we're gonna have to come up with some other way to kill him. Don't want to get hit with the slag balls. That's the opposite of what we want. Holy, all that boar. Crazy. Well, Grit helping me. Thank you, Grit. Okay, so that is officially the red dragon down. Last dragon, last dragon. Okay, so we do, do want to ding up with our SMG here. Get dinged up. Now, let's try a Let's to see. Will it, will it do enough damage just by itself? It will. It will. We stick with it. It's gonna get us there. I think. Oh my gosh. We are so zoomed in. It's so crazy. What is resisting nowadays, huh? What is resisting nowadays, boosts? Not good enough for you, is it? Not good enough, not good enough for you, is it? Let's go! Woo! That's another tier 3 dragon victory with the random guns. It was, it was a crew. It was a crew of different guns that got us there. Wow. Really amazing stuff.
Yes. That's pretty sick. That Pimpernel actually was able to push through the dragon that resisted its elemental type. Which is... That is certainly something. That's a lot of damage coming out. It That's when I said, well, what are we missing? Uh, we were missing a weapon to take us over the top. And that, you know what? Th we found it. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.